Okay, so we're going to get started, man. I just want to show you real quick, man, and I'm going to actually do a gameplay just showing the results of what happens whenever you have good buffer bloat. So essentially, buffer bloat is, and uh, let's, let's go back and see what buffer bloat is. So buffer bloat is basically essential. I, I just explain it in terms where you're going to understand it, man. So essentially, buffer bloat is uh, when you have too much data coming going to a specific uh hardware or item so basically is for for instance uh ps5 a lot of people think that you need fiber internet one gig internet to actually and that that <laughs> this trash is running and it's actually making a noise and it's like really disturbing me but anyway uh let's get back to the subject so essentially basically what happens is when you have too much data going to your hardware, even though you have the sufficient bandwidth, you still will get stuttering and lag situations. And I actually do get those actually just even in the point of actually trying to do adaptive QoS. So here's my S Asus router right here. I have an Asus router um, AX8-2U. I hope I said that right. So uh, yeah, so that's what I have, a, a Asus router ax 8 to you. So, and basically what I have done, I have, I did a priority of the highest to my Sony PlayStation. And I actually use my app analysis to see basically what's going on. And for the most part, um, every game that I play, it does not require a lot of upload speed. And you got to take in the matter that um, they have uh, what is called lag compensation. A lot of people have low bandwidth. So um, the, the COD community want the uh, Call of Duty want them to actually be able to enjoy the game as well and not get stumped by people that have the privilege of having one gig. So I just essentially just move and uh, relocated because I got promoted. And I, in the area I'm in now, I actually have one gig fiber. So I was actually able to get it. But essentially, guess what? From my experience, do you need it? No, you do not need it. I was actually rocking with 10 megabits per second in a one upload. And I was actually getting good gameplay. Um, I would actually use a data um, mobile data to upload my videos to YouTube. And I would actually use the hardware to uh, actually um, just play the game. So, and that was on DSL. So now that I have the privilege of having fiber, um, do you need it from my experience? No, you do not. But what I would say the most important thing is, is Buffalo. So what is Buffalo? Let's do it. Let's do a test and just see. So you, you need to make sure, let's go back out here. You need to ensure that you pick the right one that you have. If you have cable, you need to pick cable. If you have DSL, satellite, I don't know why you would be trying to play <laughs> online games on satellite. Most people do. Some people have to do that, unfortunately. And then also too, you got 4G. I've played 4G uh, and, and you know what? 4G has came a long way as far as internet goes. But for the most part, I have fiber. So basically this is what you're looking for. You want to make, make sure that you get the optimal uh, bandwidth that you're going to actually supply to your device. And it does not require a lot of bandwidth. Um, take that into mind, take that to note too. So, so as you can see, this is the ping, um, sort of speak, um, SS ping over idle buffer bloat. So basically it just when you see it fluctuating and stuff like that, you don't want it to go over in the red. That's what you don't want. If it stays like that, then you're in a good. That's what you want. So let's see what it, it gives us. So as you see, it's no jitter is just a straight line. So a plus a plus. So this is what you want to get. You want a buffer blow of a a plus. Um, now these settings that I have may not work for you. I'm, I'm going to just give you a heads up on that. Just do know. So the first thing you want to do is do a speed test. Uh, I'm not going to actually do that right now, but you can actually do a speed test on speedtest.net on Google. And then also too, you want to see what you're able to share. Cause you have to take into mind, you may have family members in there that may be on uh, Netflix or, um, Hulu or, YouTube or even your other children are playing a game or whatever the case may be. You want them to have a great experience as well. So you want to be generous in what you share. So for me, um, what I have done 
<clears throat> so the place that I stay that actually offer a package, an internet package, and I let them use that because I actually pay for it already. So why not use it? But essentially what I have done, I set my, my, um, a limit of 128 megabits per second for my PC and 80 megabits per second for my PS5. So that's what I did. And that's how I got those results. So I just wanted to share that real quick, man. I'm going to actually um, leave a gameplay uh, explaining more. Uh, and I might be running and explaining some of the same things. But for the most part, I just want y'all guys to see that. And then you also, too, you're going to see the difference. And now as far as ping, a lot of people get upset about the ping on the server, COD servers. Uh, you cannot really technically uh, place yourself because of the skill-based matchmaking. Uh, the way that the uh, activation has done it, they have essentially have basically uh, made it to the point where they match you with the same skill factors. And and then, too, I mean, I know it's a uh, conspiracy going out there and stuff like that about the pa patent um, uh, schematic that they came out with. But I try not to get so wrapped into all that. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. O only time will tell. But for the most part, um, they actually do. Um, Team you up. I had a brain fart moment. <laughs> team you up with people that have similar um, similar skills. Now, do I do I agree with uh, reverse boosting just to get clout? No, that's not my style. I, I've been playing um, Call of Duty. I have not have. I don't have no other account. You can check my account. You can check everything. I have no other account or anything. I just play raw, sweaty. As soon as I get through, I gotta go take a shower. With the arms under the under arms, just sweating. That's how I have to deal with it. So, uh, and I mean, at the, for the most part, guess what? It helps you get better, believe it or not, because it doesn't help you get better when you play playing noobs. I don't understand why people will want to play noobs just to get some clout and get people to like them. Um, people should like you for who you are. Uh, accept me for who I am. And this is me. Uh, that's just been my mentality. It's been, I've been raised, uh, since then, you know, if people can't accept you for who you are, then they're not for you. For the most part. But anyway, I don't want to get into a uh, run on that. But for the most part, I just hope y'all guys enjoyed. I just wanted to show you that, man. Buffer bloat is, is, is bandwidth important. Yes and no. But for the most part, your buffer bloat, you want to get a good quality of service. And that's how you're going to actually get an enjoyable gameplay. I hope y'all guys enjoyed the uh, video that I'm going to share. If you like the video, please like the video. Leave a thumbs up. Press that notification button. It helps me get my videos out there. Uh, YouTube has actually a put me in a grave that I can't get out. I've been digging, trying to get out of the grave for the longest. So when y'all guys press the thumbs up, it helps my video get out there and maybe can help somebody else that's having a similar issue uh, as well. So and also too, please press the subscribe uh, subscri uh, subscription <laughs> button and it helps me, uh, you know, get my videos more. Uh, uh, to the point where people begin to watch it and stuff like that, man. But anyway, man, I'm not going to uh, carry on, man. I hope y'all have a, a early happy new year. God bless y'all guys, man. Y'all have a peace and wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Get a chance to reload. So a lot of people think that you actually need, you actually need, um, fiber internet to game you know bandwidth do play an important role but the most important thing is your buffer bloat if your buffer bloat is not good you're gonna have a bad experience i'm saying that fiber in there if you can get it yeah by all means get it but Standing by.
Ooh, shoot, almost died. Uh, I got a bad feeling. This is not good. Bloat is good. Enemy spy plane inbound. That's gonna tell the tale. Period in all online games is not bandwidth. Bandwidth don't win. It's not your bandwidth that wins. Usually, like in situation like that, network is jacked up. You're not gonna win the match. I wouldn't win that battle. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's all about Buffalo. Enemy spy plane inbound. Hostile counter spy plane established. Anybody disagree? I, I, I mean, give me your theory. Why you think that bandwidth is more important? Swap spawns. I got a feeling they're going to pop behind us. I knew it. Yep. It's all about, I don't care what nobody say. I'm on it. I just basically uh, down uh, my upload speed and my download speed to 80. Then I did a QoS bandwidth limited on my uh, PC to 128. And I got a buffer blow of an A plus on the buffer blow and uh, yep. What was it's it? It's all about. I, think the I don't care. Nobody say. Well, I'm on it. I just basically uh, it was another one, but it was uh, all A's. Down my upload speed so, and buffer bloat is my download speed. The key. It's not bandwidth in your pen. I did a QoS bandwidth yeah, limited on my uh, PC 